Hello. In this problem, we have an infinite series, and the question is, does it converge or does it uh, diverge? So there is a series test called the nth term test, which says if you have an infinite sum like this, and you take the limit as n approaches infinity of whatever is here, so a sub n, and the result is not zero. So if you do this, then we can say that our series diverges. Always. Okay, a very powerful test. It's an extremely powerful test. It's called the nth term test. Some books will call it uh, the nth term test for divergence because a very common mistake is people will say stuff like, oh, converges by the nth term test. Super bad. <laughs> this is it, right? You can only use this to show divergence. So if you take this limit and you don't get zero, it diverges. Okay, so let's apply it here. So this here would be our a sub n. So let's try to use the nth term test. By the way, if you get zero, then game over. You can't use this test, so no information. So something to keep in mind. So it's only when you don't get zero that you can say diverges. Otherwise, no information. So we take the limit as n approaches infinity of our a sub n, so the natural log of n over 2n plus 5. And so what's going to happen here is we need to look at the inside of this logarithm. There's a 1 here and there's a 1 here. So the numerator and denominator both have the same growth rate. And so whenever you have something like this where the growth rates are equal, the limit of the inside piece here is going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients. So there's a 1 here and there's a 2 here. So the limit on the inside is 1 half. So this is equal to the natural log of 1 half. Right, because the inside piece is approaching 1 half as n approaches infinity. That's not equal to 0. That's some negative number. I don't know what it is, but it's not 0. It's all that matters. So our series diverges by the nth term test. And that would be a complete solution to the problem. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.